What's up YouTube? It's James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this beautiful Tuesday. I'm doing pretty good myself. If you guys remember, probably about a month ago, I did a video about Fulton County Jail where you had this young brother by the name of LaShawn Thompson who basically succumbed in that jail when he was thrown in a dilapidated cell and uh, allegedly eaten by bed bugs. You know, all kinds of bugs. A place of filth, in other words. Very, very raggedy, dilapidated jail. By the way, well, um, his demise was ruled as a homicide, you know, on behalf of Fulton County Jail. And in that video, I said that Fulton County Jail should be actually tore down because the place is raggedy and dilapidated. And the story that we're about to embark on will prove my case as in this particular situation right here. You got Kevion Thomas, okay? No relation, I don't think so. <laughs> but if you can see on this picture right here, to his right, or should, well, well, on the right right here, well, you got this big hole right here that's supposed to be a shower wall that he actually burrowed through this wall to stab another inmate. His last name was Russell, okay? Very, very strange situation right here. Let's get into the story. See, this is more reason why I say Fulton County needs to be tore down, okay? It says here, an inmate tunneled through a jail wall and stabbed a man in a neighboring cell, officials say. And that was Kevin Thomas who did that, all right? <laughs> Well, I've never, uh, look, I never heard of no mess like this by any means necessary on the real. You understand? It says here, Kevion Thomas, an inmate at the Rice Street Jail in Fulton County, Georgia, tunneled his way into an adjacent cell last Wednesday, where he allegedly stabbed another inmate, according to Fulton County Sheriff's Office. The Sheriff's Office said that on May 17th, Thomas dug a hole in a shower wall made of concrete. <laughs> and metal to get into the neighboring cell, which is where authorities say he stabbed the Rodney Russell multiple times per WSB TV. Russell sustained superficial stab wounds to his upper torso before being taken to the jail's medical unit to be treated for his non-life-threatening injuries, officials said according to ABC News. WBC uh, TV reported that law enforcement authorities searched both cells where they found at least five weapons. Among these were makeshift shanks crafted from parts of the dilapidated jail building per Fox 5 uh, Atlanta, okay? So this place is so damn raggedy that you can just bust through walls, <laughs> you understand what I mean? And, and make parts from it to hurt other inmates. You see what I'm saying? This jail needs to be tore down, okay? It's not a building of good structure. You know, the infrastructure is rotten. You see what I'm saying? One, how can I say, shimmer of an earthquake. Just one. This place coming down. This place is raggedy, man. And that's just all there is to it. To continue here, this jail has clearly outlived its useful life. Interim... Fulton County Jail Commander Curtis Clark said in a press release provided to ABC News. Clark added that the condition of the building makes the reality of providing a safe environment for inmates and staff very challenging. Per WSB-TV, it's not clear what charges Thomas was in jail for this time, but records show somebody with the same name having previously been booked for rioting in a penal institution, arson, and criminal damage to property, among other charges. <laughs> the sheriff's office said in a statement provided to the insider that additional criminal charges against Thomas are pending. Okay? Yeah, well, you know what I mean? It should be, like I said, a criminal charge for this damn jail to be still standing. This jail right here, man, I'm telling you, look, like I said, one shimmer of an earthquake, this place coming down. 
I don't care how it looks right here. You know, kind of look like it's, you know, in good shape or whatever. But on the inside of this place is a nightmare, you know, and it needs to be, you know, demolished. And that's just what it is. But yeah, back to this brother right here, uh, Kevin Thomas. Hey, dude, you need to chill, boy. Well, what's wrong with you? You got to be burling through walls and shit and trying to stab folks. Well, stabbing people. You know what I'm saying? You must have been awfully mad at that dude <laughs> to do something like this. You understand what I'm saying? Terminator on the real. That's what that is. I want you guys to tell me what you think about this particular story right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it in the comment section. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And people, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.